Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the brand spanking new Explorer 600 SE Special Edition by Flashpoint. So for those of you who don't know, Flashpoint has just released a few new units such as the Explorer 600 Pro 2 and the Explorer 600 SE. I'm a Flashpoint fanboy because it's the lighting brand that I've been using for majority of my career as a photographer. These lights have never let me down and I'm a bit excited because I can't wait to put this Explorer 600 to the test out on the field and tell you guys all about it. What's new and how it can benefit all of you amazing creatives out there. So let's get started with the unboxing, shall we? All right, super excited, man. So first and foremost, it comes in this beautiful case. This is, this is pretty cool. I love the color. Flashpoint has always had like black cases, which I like, and I also do enjoy the color that they use, the, the aqua blue. I'm not sure what kind of blue, but yeah. I love the color. And it seems like there should be a shoulder strap here somewhere. So I'm sure we'll find that here somewhere. We got the silica gel balls for the moisture. We have the battery, which has the Flashpoint logo right in the back, which is something new. Instruction manual. The wire for the charger. The actual charger. Shoulder strap. So we actually have the bulb here and it has four different prongs, which is a little bit different than the other units that you've seen before. So unlike the previous models and other models, for example, the previous 600, it has three prongs. The new Explorer 600 SE has four prongs, again, in an entirely different section. You guys gotta be really careful with this. This is really expensive. Probably the most expensive part of this whole package. Ready or not, the actual unit. There are quite a few changes actually. I am noticing some right away. So immediately one of the things that stood out to me was the bulb. The size of the bulb uh, compared to the 400 Pro, which of course is not a comparison 400, 600, right? But uh, the previous model, 600, look at the size difference here. This is definitely one of the things that stood out to me immediately. Um, the fact that they have different prongs. So this one has three and the new one SC has four and they're all in different areas. Um, this section here is a little different, which is cool because you could put different attachments on this like a softbox or a beauty dish. Uh, this is a Bowens mount compatible light. I also did notice that the logo is where the fan is now. So that's pretty cool. I love the logo placement along with the branding. Um, same thing on the battery pack, which I mentioned earlier. One of the things that I do like is the, where you can hold it. It's a little longer, um, which to me, it makes it feel way more secure, especially if you're putting it on a C stand or a light stand. Um, it, it goes a little deeper, 
uh, and then you can go ahead and tighten it here. So I don't know if you guys noticed this, but if you press this button here, uh, you press it and it kind of comes out a little bit. So that way you can actually turn it all the way, um, especially if you're limited due to a beauty dish or a modifier that restricts you from turning it all the way. You press that button, it extends out and then you can turn it. The button is different. So the power button is where you see the flash icon. So you hit that, hold it, and then it's going to ask you to turn the dial. So you turn it, you turn the dial to unlock it and it actually turns on. All right guys, so to start it off, I wanna say that this is a monolite, although some people call it a strobe and whatnot. I dropped a video about a week ago where I talk about the speed lights and touch a tad bit on this monolite. You can check that video out just by clicking up here. Just like previous models, this Explore 600 is compatible with Bowen's mount attachments and features high-speed sync, AKA HSS capabilities. This special edition does not have TTL capabilities, but if you're really looking for that, check out the Explore 602 Pro as that unit does have the option to use TTL. So looks and features is not all of it. The real test, the real review is out on the field, which I've had plenty of time to use this unit for different photo shoots in studio and outdoors. One of my favorite features of the Flashpoint lineup is the wireless capabilities. I host workshops and photo walks from time to time, and you would be surprised how many photographers still use wired lights? There's nothing wrong with that, but it's the end of 2024, guys. Wireless is in. Less hassle, less liabilities at your work sites, and no need to rely on wired power when you can do so much with the long-lasting battery on this unit. The entire Flashpoint lineup has a long battery life. This 600-watt monolight can get you about 500 flashes at full power on one full charge. There you go. And then I got another one back there too. So these are our full power. This thing is still going. Look. Unless you're trying to freeze dance shots in the studio or doing something really, really creative, there's no reason why you should be using full power at all of your shoots. A lot of you guys who watch my videos shoot similar things to what I shoot. So that's the reason why I say you, maybe you don't need full power, but everybody's different and some people do use full power. But regardless, the battery is going to last you a very long time. I use both the 400 Pro and the 600 a lot at my weddings and in studio. The 600 plays a very important role for outdoor wedding portraits, especially if the portraits are taking place anytime between noon to about 5 p.m. or right before sunset. Although no light source can compete against the sun, the 600 is a contender. If it's really bright out and you wanna get those nice blue skies, expose your camera settings for ambient and set this bad boy at full power. It's going to illuminate your subject amazingly while also achieving those beautiful blue skies. So what's changed? Nothing too crazy has changed, but some of the changes that stood out to me was the much sleeker and minimal design. I'm a minimalistic photographer and I love the way the recent Flashpoint products have been looking. For example, the R2 has a simple and sleek design similar to what you see here on the new Explorer 600 Special Edition. The older models have a backlit plain LED panel with black text, almost like a backlit calculator. On this specific model, the background in the LED panel is black similar to what you see on other well-known lighting brands. The LED panels are color-coded for efficient workflow and easy operation. So when you're like five feet away from the unit and you want to check what channel or group you're on, the color code can match what you have on your transmitter. I was able to do a few photo shoots with this new 600 and I can say it never fails me just like the previous Flashpoint models. I know I can truly rely on this light unit for years to come. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm a Flashpoint fanboy, but with reason. These lights have never let me down. I think you guys will really enjoy the new Explorer 600 Special Edition. It's a great new addition to my entire Flashpoint lighting lineup, along with my new 8200s Pro, which I just recently used when I traveled to the Dominican Republic for a destination wedding, alongside my good friend and videographer, Kevin from Golden Creatives. While we were there, we filmed a simple gear breakdown video explaining what was in our luggage and how we packed it and why. And I think that will be a beneficial video for those of you who travel. Go ahead and check it out. And also down in the description, I have everything you need for the Flashpoint 600 and way more information. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.